What is going on guys? It is Kevin from KJ3 Computers back again with another video and today I'm actually going to be doing a tutorial something I haven't done in a while as a matter of fact because I did the Windows XP Tingo Scura video and that blew up with a lot of popularity and a video that's been trailing behind it is the Game Boy Color style intro made from scratch in Sony Vegas and I've had a lot of people message me asking hey can you make a tutorial of it and I said sure. So that's what we're going to do today so what we're going to do is actually before I get started um, you're going to need a picture of a, of a uh, rainbow gradient you can make it in Sony Vegas this is what I did but it was it took me a while to perfect it to the way I needed it to be so I'm sure if you just search it on Google and just get a sideways one similar to this you'll be you'll be just fine so what I'm going to do is I already have a video track open so I'm gonna hit insert text media I'm going to change the text to something I want. So I'm just going to put simply Game Boy. I'm going to select it and I'm going to change it to my font. The font I have is called Early Game Boy. Uh, you can go on defont.com to find great fonts that would fit this project. I'm going to size this down to about 42. Now I want the text color to be transparent. So we're going to go over here to this to the far right and bring the slider all the way down so you no longer see the text but go down to advanced and then where there's background it'd be the same thing bring that slider all the way back up to black and then bring the black one all the way up to the top of the red and then take the tracker here and change the numbers to 1111 till it's all white and now you're presented with whatever text you have on a white screen with black text now what it actually is is it is that was weird to say it is transparent so what you can do now is go ahead and drag your gradient below your Game Boy or your uh, your text. Now, the Game Boy intro only lasts about two and a half seconds or so, so that's how far or that's how fast we want the the Game Boy you know gradient to flash by and then have it unfade and then fade out. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit play here. Okay, so that's about a. A second 15 so you will be able to adjust it afterwards so one thing you want to do is or the next thing you want to do is go down to event pan and crop on the on the uh, far right hand corner of the gradient and what you want to do is you want to take it make sure it's all the way to the left side and it's in position mode is bring it all the way over to the right so it looks like that and then take your tracker and bring it all the way over to the right again and then bring the bring the focus over to the left so when you play it back perfect so now what you can do is I'm just gonna extend that to about two seconds just to just to see perfect that that works with me so now what you want to do is go ahead and open up a new video track, go to media generators, go to solid color, drag down white to the first track. Now size it down to the size of the gradient. And what you want to do is go back into pan and crop for the white solid, solid media generator and leave it at the center and then bring it all the way over to the right. And then what you want to do is bring the focus all the way over to the left. so it scrolls with the gradient so now when you play it you should have boom I'm going to play that again for you guys now to really mimic the the uh, you know originality of it one thing you can do is open up a new video track take that back let me open up a new video okay yeah that's right open up a new video track I forgot the key command to open up from the bottom and then you can insert a new generated media text and then just rewrite what you had so Game Boy or you can just just have the color fade into the dark dark kind of royal blue but I'm just kind of taking the cheap way out so or the Game Boy I had that size down to about 48 
text color I bring this all the way down to blue and then select about 22 42 10 so I must have my size wrong there we go and then if you if you look at it when it, it just cuts out of the fade you know it doesn't you know it, it would it would leave the black so I'd put it about halfway or about quarter way three quarter of the way through or you can just completely leave it at the front at the very beginning of the track and then you can bring down that bring down Game Boy to match the color gradient the plain white actually I don't want to do that forgot to set my background to white advanced color one 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 alrighty and now when you play it bidding there you go now if it maybe it's just me or maybe I'm going crazy seems to be okay yeah maybe it's just me because of my recording software so yeah, it's lasting about two seconds, so and then it should fade into white. So I can just click and drag a white text media. And then the very last thing to do is add the bottom text. So you can just insert a new video track above above all of the other video tracks hit insert generated text media and then type whatever you want your little heart desires choose a font of your choosing 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 so I'm going to go with that one bold italics. Gonna make it about twenty two. Bring that down to about here. I lied, I want that to about fifteen or twenty. Okay, that works with me. So now what we want to do is if you were powering on the Game Boy, it sh it doesn't show the bottom text logo for a split second. So you'd want it to be all white. There you go, like that. And then leave the bottom text to fade out along with the Game Boy as well. And there you guys have it. So that is how you make a Game Boy Color style intro inside Sony Vegas. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I do plan to be making more videos that you guys are looking forward to. I'm planning on doing more tech reviews um, on like more household items, more stuff that is more local to you guys and stuff that you really want to see. So uh, I'm looking forward to doing that and catching you guys in the new year. Have a happy new year and I will see you later.